I started to receive some comments, concerns recently about a video that was published a little while back. Some people feeling like this particular video is problematic for a number of reasons. I was thinking about how to address it. So I actually set up a laptop here so that we can watch it back together. The video, of course, that I'm talking about, unboxing the Escobar Fold 2. I have no affiliation. It's not a sponsorship. But anyways, I think the best way to go over this is just to watch the video together and then I can pause it at various points and just give you it's sort sort of what my thinking was at the time. And for that moment there, the way we were shooting videos at the time, the, the spontaneousness of it was kind of a big component, an important component. I would personally feel that it would be more exciting sometimes to be surprised. I tend to like the benefit because it captures the real reaction. I think there's some value in there from an excitement standpoint with a lot of different products. Obviously, this is a very unusual, a very bizarre product. And so maybe in this particular case, that wasn't suitable. Normally, what I would do is I would go glance the incoming, glance through the incoming packages with a healthy dose of curiosity. Uh, wondering, but today I didn't even have that opportunity because Will Do decided to completely disrupt, interrupt everything, that entire procedure in order to place that in front of me right there. I don't know if I'm supposed to smack it or not. He said, you know what, Lou? Today it's all about this. This is the thing you've been waiting for. This is the greatest thing ever to be featured on Unbox Therapy. That's his words, not mine. Yeah. Okay, so some people were upset with this uh, phrasing right here. Will Do told me this is the most exciting thing ever to be featured on Unbox Therapy. This is a running joke. There's a bit of sarcasm in it that Will always thinks the thing that he would bring to the channel would be the most exciting thing. That the latest shipment that arrived with his name on it that he organized or arranged is more important than whatever else is here that I already know is here that I would maybe prefer to be making a video about. So this is sarcasm. Some people didn't pick up on that. How could I say that it's the greatest thing ever when I haven't even looked at the product yet? So I put everything to the side, all the boxes, because we have this DHL package. Now, it's not that heavy. Honestly, I have no idea what it is. It comes from the United Arab Emirates. Any okay, I should just say, as far as having no idea what, what it is, I actually had no idea what it, what it was. I, like I said, I had no relationship with this company or brand. This is not an endorsement. It's not a promotion. Man, if I'm promoting something, I'm gonna tell you to go get it. I'm gonna say, look, this is this is my thing. I'm associated with it. I believe in it. You should go get it. But it is weird how once you edit something, you put it together, there's music and stuff. It just feels flashier than it was. If you guys watched this actual full uncut uh, day of filming or moment of filming, it feels a lot less promotional just because of the nature of editing and so on. There's a, there's a lot more humming and hawing and what is this thing and, and so forth. But anyway, let's continue. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, so this portion here, people were trying to gauge or judge, I guess, my excitement in this moment. I should have been more clear here about why such a big, ah. I wasn't, I didn't think that this was the greatest thing to ever happen in the land of tech, but more a tech culture, almost kind of museum thing. Remember the time that there was that weird? Okay, hold up. Fold two, you have the PE on the front, Pablo Escobar logo, gold, a gold plate on there, 12 gigs of RAM, 512 storage, you're trying to not necessarily come to any really strict conclusions in real time. Now, I understand some people, you go watch other videos in retrospect and you think to yourself, well, I wanna be told in absolute terms exactly what to think about something. This one has always kind of been a little bit more about the discovery process, the name Unbox Therapy, the idea that there's something in the moment of first interaction with the thing. And it gets back to what I was saying earlier about how there's benefits and, and drawbacks to that style. Triple camera layout. Obviously, this is different. This looks like a brushed metal. You Maybe you would start peeling the sticker off immediately. But I'm just thinking, man, I'm going to reserve my judgment on this. I'm going to just chill for a minute 
and see exactly what's going on here. It felt like a lot of the things that came out afterwards, for me, that seemed already like a tight, like healthy skepticism that would be there. And then this slick edited package that we put out, it, it, it obviously didn't convey that to a lot of people. Surface in gold? Oh! <laughs> it's ready to go. Escobar Inc. established 1984. So it is a fold. There were more sentences like this in the video. At that point right there, I said it is a fold. It's easy to miss. You're, you're watching the thing, it's all very slick and smooth. And then at other points in the video, I say it's a lot like a fold. It's essentially a fold, but Escobar customized. Wait a minute. It's a fold, but Escobar customized. They're not even really customized. I mean, they put a background on it. Another red flag for a skeptical viewer. The device is booted up with a wallpaper. There's no setup screen. When have you ever bought a phone without a setup screen? So in the future, I would just say, look, it's already started up and then say, that's very unusual. When have you ever bought a phone that's already started up? You should be skeptical. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's very boring. It's not how a person behaves in real life when they're hanging with their friends and a package shows up. But if people are gonna be misled, then it's obviously imperative to do that. Yeah, I've played with the Galaxy Fold extensively. This is the same deal. How can they do it? How can they deliver? Model number S SM-F900F. Yeah, so there I show the model number. That was my other kind of gentle way of insinuating. If you wanna just type in the model number, the whole, your, all the evidence you need is right there. Galaxy Fold, you have the front display. And anytime I'm saying like the Galaxy Fold, it's so weird to watch it after the fact, but in real time, it, of course it is a Galaxy Fold. You just showed the part number, but at the same time, they're pitching it as, as an independent product and they're selling it as an independent product. And this was a, at least a week before, I think Marquez's video went out. So, and I didn't order one or buy one. So I hadn't personally been scammed at this point. As some people have indicated they were. Two sentences earlier, I said, it's a customized Galaxy Fold. And before that, I said, it's a Galaxy Fold. You're reacting in real time and sometimes things just don't come out right. I have no idea how this is possible. I'm officially, I'm officially out of my league here. Which is kind of like the top comment that I pinned where I said, this is an unusual de uh, device from an unusual source proceed with caution. This is not part of the typical analysis of a product in an unboxing style of video. Usually you unbox the thing, it's a brand that you're relatively familiar with, and then it's, hey, let's just get into the analysis of the thing itself. Whereas here it's more, how is this possible? What are they doing? Of course, later in the video, I show a screenshot saying that they were apparently getting overstock Galaxy Fold. So even the company themselves, whatever company it is, was stating or admitting that they were skinning Galaxy Fold. I mean, it's so, the whole thing is obviously so confusing and weird to talk about. And I think it's actually the newer version because I see the same contraption down on the bottom there to block. This part here, I'm saying it's the newer version of the Fold. Debris from getting into the hinge. Customized Galaxy Fold. It's got the affiliation with the Escobar brand, and then somehow the price is insane. This one is listed at 549. I wish I said something about typically when something is too good to be true, it's probably not true. Something along these lines, a generic. I know everyone now is saying, why are you promoting this? I can't believe you promoted this. I didn't feel that this video was a promotion because of the tone in my voice and the, the constant, how is this even possible? What's going on here? And, and it's not just this product. There's been, like I said, thousands of products on the channel. By the nature of uh, volume, there have been a few on there where after the fact, people tell me, hey man, this Kickstarter didn't come through or this Indiegogo or this random website. So I would just say, I can show you something here on the channel, but getting back to the earlier part, if it is an actual endorsement, or promotion, I will tell you that. It's on Will's computer, starts at $3.99 supposedly. You tell me exactly what's going on. But I'm putting him on the spot. It's very dynamic with a camera in your face. How is it possible? Almost $2,000, 549. The weight is the same, surprisingly. <laughs> I mean, you could tell we're both, we're both being sort of gentle. 
And it's just the nature of these types of videos when you're just, you're kind of a, uh, hmm. Why? Why is this face there? I mean, that thing is like a legend. Let's be honest. This is like a legend. Cause everybody knows the meme. Everybody saw the articles and the web. This part is probably, is, I think it's a bit selfish, to be honest. I think it's, I think it's selfish the way I phrased it. I said, this thing is like a meme. All the news articles. Imagine you're flexing with this thing. I have obviously a wacky collection of smartphone phones over the years. I've been doing this for like 10 years from the initial earliest Android devices, these little puny looking things. I have every single Nexus device, every single iPhone. And I, I do regret the phrasing of that right there. As much as I think this is a cool museum item to have, the risk here outweighs the potential upside for the average person to approach this site in any fashion. Website and the crazy videos with the models and everything. So if you carry that around and you actually got the Escobar fold. I'm trying to insinuate no one's, it's, who knows if you're ever gonna get it? Is it a thing? Is it an actual thing? There were more questions than answers, which is the phrase that I use in the video. If somebody goes and buys this thing, how can they deliver? How can they deliver it at 550 Okay, so there I said, if someone goes and buys this thing, how can they deliver it at 550? That's pretty, that's pretty straightforward. That's me, again, trying to be skeptical. And then showing the page here that says the Fold 2 is an overstock purchase from the Samsung Galaxy Fold. We have bought many of them from retailers and wholesalers who have been unable to sell them to their clients. I'm holding this, I kind of miss the Galaxy Fold right now. I miss using the Galaxy Fold as a daily driver. Time, we had the Escobar brand on a Fold. It also kind of brings into question just the nature of these videos. I think I've published, oh man, a tremendous number of videos. It's interesting as this whole thing has evolved, so has the status of the people that are in it and the perception that people who are watching have of those individuals and what their responsibilities happen to be. And so actually, I would like to know from you guys at this time, you're, you're the audience, you're the channel. If in the future, there are products like this that are on the fringes, would you prefer them to be avoided altogether? Ultimately, this relationship has to be something that you're into. It has to follow whatever protocol uh, you want to some extent, or you're gonna stop clicking on it. You're gonna stop watching it. So I'm curious to hear from you guys. Do you steer clear of the fringe riskier products or do you continue to cover them and leave things open-ended and the viewer has to come to their own conclusion? Or option three, do you cover the fringe products but then also just insert tremendous direct skepticism, no open-ended analysis or no conclusions to be derived from the viewer based on nuance or subtlety? I'm curious, I'm genuinely curious in the comments which of those three options you guys would prefer. And then the other thing I wanna say, because some people have suggested this, do you wanna see this video come down, be deleted or not? I think this is probably the best way to do it, to vote. It won't be exact, but I'll look at the comments and you can say, take the video down or no, it happened. It's internet history. Whatever is the overwhelming favorite in the comment section, then I'll go with that one because it's a community aspect to it. Let me know down in the comments if anybody, look, if you felt personally offended or you, you, you were hoping for something different in that video, I apologize for that. Uh, going forward, like I said, there's a few things I would change about that video, but I hope that you would also understand the nature of the unboxing experience and, and the fact that that matters to me. It's in the name of the channel. And I hope to have these kind of initial impressions, initial interactions and reactions, they're an important part of the content to me, but they do come with certain side effects. And in this case, that's an example of one of those side effects. I appreciate your guys' support, especially in this really weird time that we're living in, in 2020. I'll, I'll do a better job next time.